Today we're learning to install the Piranha Spray Master automatic spray system. At the installation site, remove all the equipment from the corrugated box and the polyethylene drum and replace the drum lid. Check the pictures to identify all the equipment from the box and the drum. Run the end of the intake tubing from the intake filter through the PVC circle and connect it to the pump suction inlet. Insert the check valve assembly through the PVC circle and connect it to the pressure regulating valve. Mount the PVC circle on top of the drum, making sure that the black float with nylon line passes through the cutout section of the drum lid with all lines hanging freely. Remove the pressure gauge from its package and screw it into the top of the brass cross assembly. Make sure that the male elbow points away from the timer. Remove the spray nozzles from the package. Using the barn diagrams as a guide, run the quarter inch nylon tubing on the ground around the stall area to be treated, beginning at the tank. Using a sharp knife, cut the tubing squarely to ensure airtight connections at each spray nozzle. Push the tubing firmly into the side of the spray nozzle T. Pull gently to confirm that you have secure connections. Using the plastic nailers or plastic ties, install the tubing and spray nozzles above the center of each stall and six feet inside of each exterior door. Make sweeping turns with the tubing around corners to avoid kinking. After all the spray nozzles have been installed, run one end of the tubing back to the drum and insert it into the male elbow of the brass cross assembly. Tighten nuts snug to a quarter inch turn with a wrench. At the end of the tubing line, after all of the spray nozzles, attach a bleed valve to shut off the line and hold pressure. Remove the PVC circle from the top of the drum and fill the drum to the halfway mark with clean water. Do not put insecticide in the drum until testing is completed. Connect the electrical cord from the timer to a 110 volt outlet and open the timer cover. To start the system, turn the run duration knob to on and allow the system to operate for several minutes to be certain the pump is priming and that there are not leaks at the various tubing connections. Some nozzles may be spraying at this time, but this is normal. At the end of the line, open the bleed valve until it pours a steady stream of liquid. Once the steady stream is present, close the bleed valve. Turn the pressure regulating valve clockwise until the pressure gauge reads between 180 and 200 PSI and all nozzles are spraying a consistent fine mist. Turn the run duration knob to off and disconnect the electrical cord from the outlet. Close the timer lid. Carefully lift the PVC circle and shift it to the side of the drum lid. Add the entire contents of the insecticide concentrate to the drum and finish filling the drum with clean water to four inches from the top of the drum. Replace the PVC circle on the drum lid being careful to not pinch the float line or the tubing, and reconnect the electrical cord. Remove the plastic cover on the clock. Rotate the clear plastic lens on the clock dial clockwise to set the time of day. The arrow in the upper left corner will indicate the military time of day. Select the tripper for the time of day you want the system to operate by using a ballpoint pen or similar object to move the switch out into the on position. Red will show when the switch is in the on position. Repeat for each time you want the system to operate. Spray time should be set from early morning to dusk. Set the run duration selector switch to the length of spray time desired. When you're first starting the system, we recommend setting the timer to operate six times a day for 45 seconds each time. When the area is under satisfactory control within 10 to 14 days, cut back the number of spray cycles and duration time to maintain control. The system will run continuously when the toggle switch is in the continuous position. The system will not operate when the switch is in the off position. The red extra run button can be used at any time to test the system for extra spraying. Close the timer lid when you're finished. A red indicator lamp will illuminate when the float line has been pulled. This indicates the tank is low and service replenishment is recommended. Thank you for choosing Piranha products.